Well, I think this is our trail. At least I'm hoping it is. So, what are we doing today? We're going to explore the, as usual, deserted farmlands of New Hampshire. You know, for us, 150 to 200 years is a long time. It's many lifetimes. In the grand scheme of it all, it's a drop in the bucket. But that's how long it's been since this was all clean, wide open farm. People's homes, people's lives. And so the other day when we were out, we found a well in an area that well, there shouldn't have really been a well. Yes, it was probably for livestock, but you just don't see them out in the middle of nowhere for no reason. So that big piece of property that I've been exploring recently, I had been coming in from the other side and it was quite a distance. Well, today we're going to come in from the complete other side. That's why I'm hoping this trail leads us there. Oddly enough, I've never even been on this trail. So, that's reason enough to take it and it goes in the direction we need to go in. So my main thought is getting to the back side of the area where that well was because it's equally as far from the other side, which I did three times recently and makes me wonder obviously what's on this side, but where the well is, were we just entering a farm or were we at the tail end of the other farm. I mean, it's crazy out here. There's just so much hidden stuff. Even, you know, we've been walking 10 minutes and we could be walking past stuff. As in, well, I don't know about a cellar hole, but footprints, who knows? See, yeah, that's what's interesting. That's definitely a soft shouldered cart path wagon path that branches off at the moment and that one must go to the farm that I'm aware of which is you know pretty far over that direction but this way heads directly in the direction where we were the other day Definitely signs of travel on this end, which they were not on the other end. Boy, these cart paths are something else. And we're fortunate to live in a place where, you know, you think they're all old trails, but these are all little old roads running everywhere through, you know, woods that have not been ruined. All right, let's see if we can even get through that. Woof, no. All right. I think we'll be doing a little bit of roundabout here. All right, this is the back side of the square we were aiming for. Wow, they definitely were not coming in from this end. So this is the, the parcel, the piece, with the well in it. So you can understand why I'm so intrigued. Yeah.
just missed catching a deer on film for you guys. All right, well, we're definitely at the top. Definitely in the square. The well is on the other side of this hump. I just wanted to come over here and see what it looks like. It's nice, actually, it's beautiful. Time to take a break and hydrate. Like I said, it's early. I'm actually just starting to wake up, so I apologize for being a little scatterbrained and rambling at first, but today's video is for me, not to film anything exciting. I'll just be in out here is always exciting, but it is what it is today. Early morning walk. All right, I'm gonna drink, and then we're gonna go over the hump to the really bad side where the well was. So my guess is that this is a 50 acre lot that's squared in with rock walls. But if somebody was living out here and they planted a little cabin and didn't dig a cellar, you'd have one hell of a time finding it. Well, we haven't found it, so we're having a hell of a time. But, uh, hoping I can find the well because it's off this side of the hump but look at this it's a, it's a fern bed as far as you can see and just goes back down that's why I was amazed to find it the other day I was just you know going without direction just going okay there's our well and I'm thinking about it timing everything so when I came in from the other day it was 20 minutes, call it a mile. This way, it was 20 minutes to the square and then the additional time to get over here. So we are a mile out and the next two proper home sites that I can think of are probably at the tail ends of where we started. So we really are in the middle of nowhere for that. It almost really doesn't make sense, so I was thinking about the theory of livestock stuff, but where we came in up off the hill, there was no wall. The walls actually went down to the bottom, at least on that side, and quit, so it's not even closed off on that end. So that kind of kills that theory. So we came in on the west, went south, traveled to the east, and now we will go down this side. I can actually see the boundary wall over there that heads us back to the direction we came from. We just came in probably, I don't know, maybe a quarter mile over that direction. But the objective of coming in from the bottom side to the well is complete. Now let's take a different angle out and look around. All right, we're back out of that. Back on the old cart path. We're going to roam around on our way out, see if any of these other ones lead us back. I have no conclusion to that well site. I just, when I dropped back down off again, it's not walled in, so it's three-sided, really bad land, and a well in the middle of it. Now the history mystery. All right, let's see where this one goes. Anytime I go for a hike, I is the opportunity to see ground I have not before. That's definitely been logged a long time ago. Stumps and dropped trees. No surprise. All right, well, we're almost back where we started. Just about to crest the hill down to where we started. And thanks for joining me today on this kind of squirrely video. 
like I said, I just got up early before it's going to be 100 degrees today because I had to do that hike. And, uh, yeah, just a raw footage kind of day. All right, get out and explore your world and see you soon.